Welcome to Trading Lounge and the daily US stocks for Tuesday, December the 14th, starting with Amazon here. I was looking for uh, this W, X and Y and I think the W is done now and one of the reasons for that is that it does appear that we have our first impulse wave to the downside. So we're looking for a uh, possible uh, five waves uh, within this structure. So let's just go in and have a closer look at that. It's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride down here. If, so it means that, um, well, uh, yeah, less is more, I guess. So uh, don't over trade into this because it will bounce. I mean, it, technically it should bounce through um through 100 200 and 300 so we'll get quite bouncy through here so we if we're going to get to the bottom which i'll be gunning for but it means that we need to be a little bit sensible about how we sort of tackle this situation so uh let's go to the tick chart we've got a short trade in here already so just coming up here a little bit so yeah um we kind of reached our box here which is sort of okay and the good news here is it does appear that there's five waves down here a little bit dodgy up here and i could have made a mistake here but there's a nice sort of third wave here look there may be another low just to, to, just to come in here in the next session or something but um if, if there is not to worry about it too much because we should see a bounce back anyway but let's just assume for a moment that i'm that we're sort of on that we're right here so we did have the I did have this stop down at this point, but I can see that any rally here may may take us out. <clears throat> so that's a bit useless. So I'm thinking that uh, we could take some money off the table uh, in this space. And uh, then what we'll do is then as we get the, if we get this, uh, this ABC pattern here, and then we get our third wave down here and there'll be a bumpy ride here for sure. Um, then what we'll do is we'll look to short again. So we can look to short in the box or we could uh, just depending on how it looks, you know what I mean? Like if, if I can see a very clear three waves to the 61.8% or the 50%, then I'll know that we're on track. If we get five waves to this point, then uh, we've got a problem at that point. So uh, let's just see how we travel. But um, in a nutshell, we should be looking to at minimum short that B wave. So where we get out here, we'll get back in basically. So, um, you know, you need to have a small profit if you get stopped out above the level here. Um, yeah, and like I said, we should be able to short in that box. And the other point with this is that um, uh, sometimes, you know, it, it doesn't even get there, you know. Sometimes it just falls short, so it might just come to 34.50. So we'll keep a, we'll dr if it happens, we'll drill right in there and get to that. But uh, yeah, we do want to catch this little third wave in, in through here. So maybe, do maybe double check what I've done here. It was probably one, two, three, four, five into here as wave one and back for wave two here and down for wave three, four and five. So I, th I think that we're okay. Um, <clears throat> But hey, you know, it's trading and, and uh, things happen. But uh, anyway, that's where we are. Um, so everything's looking okay at this point. Yeah, just thinking, just... Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Um, Sorry for my silent bits, but um, I'm not an entertainer, I'm an analyst. So, um, okay, that's that. So that's looking good. Let's cruise on. <clears throat> so Alphabet, uh, yeah, so we're looking at uh, this wave three top here. This is a daily chart. We don't normally look at the daily chart because nothing really happens here much but i try to look at it once a week um so we've got this first move down through here we're looking for this uh retest up here and then another move uh down uh as such and we've been triggered in short now so let's just go in and have a look at that uh on the 
100 ticks. We don't have the short trade, but it's on the 10 ticks. But just to get a visual wave three here with an A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave down here. Now we'll need to be a little bit careful about this, I think, because there's a good case for, um, let me just see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I'll just take it from this one. <clears throat> I mean, there's a nice looking sort of impulse wave to the upside here. So we just need to be a little bit. And there are, there are some stocks that uh, can be coming down like this and then moving back up. So I need to be aware of that. But um, this is where the support's going to come in, just below the 2900. So it's probably a good idea to take some money off the table there and we'll work that as well. Let's just go to the 10 ticks and get a better grip on this. Um, so I've just moved it back to my original count, but we did get short, we got stopped in on the short here. And uh, yeah, I mean, we probably, we probably have to look at this as one and two and one and two here. And we're going down for the third. So yeah, this is going to be a little issue in here. Probably, I'll, I'll just put this um, in here just to see see what it looks like at that point. I mean, I can see that this is one, two, three, four, five coming down here. We may get another four and a five coming into here. That would be one, two, three, four, five. And that would leave us with an A wave, a B wave, and one, two, three, four, five. So that's why we've got to be a little bit careful at this point. I think we might just run a stop with this as well, just, uh, just to complete the trade thing on this. So taking money off the table here enables us to have a wider stop to accommodate anything over here. And the idea, I mean, look, for me, everybody's different. You know, I, I, I would risk, say, 1%, and then I would try to get that to half a percent, and I can get that to half a percent by either adjusting the stop or taking money off the table. And it is quite interesting when you do focus on, on getting your position, um, you know, Getting it from a one percent loss to a to a half a percent loss is really quite sort of interesting because when you start sort of running your numbers, you know, you can have four losing trades, but really there's just two losing trades, you know. So that really halves this whole situation, you know, saving the pennies uh, to make the pounds, so to speak. Um, yeah, risk management. Um, when you see the market as you know. Uh, <laughs> as as um, and played as risk management, it, it becomes a a different uh, a different game uh, rather than dreaming about profits, which we all like to do. I mean, you know, imagination is our is the human. Um, well, it's, I guess I don't know if it's a virtue or not, but it certainly. Um, I wonder if that should go over there for that doesn't really matter we still leave way four there okay I'm happy with that let's cruise along so Apple um, yeah so look I'm just being sort of cautious I know we're in this is a medium level and then we've got group two so we've got 65 72 and 80 now the 80 is the most important number here and I always call eight a profit taking number and that's what we're seeing and we can see it in the actual bar here um, that uh, open higher and you know close lower for that it's very typical of working with the number eight you know and you could be at any number really but wherever you see you know it could be eight cents or eight thousand um, so the other point here is that so we've got this this 180 this number eight here so that's really important and then we're also tracking five waves up through to here so we're going to go and have a look at that so that could be the top and the turn of all of this now it's it's a bit dangerous picking the tops because this particular trend here that I've got, it fits okay. We can go one, two, three, four, five, uh, and back for this one, and then one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave. But we could also expand this as well out further. 
Um, I don't think it's the case, um, but it's, it's possible. So we just need to have another layer of uh, caution in with all of this. Now, you could just put the short trade under the low here and put the stop on uh, above here and then just keep bringing the stop down because... Um, because this market travels quite nicely, you know, on, on the daily bar, really. It's quite, it's quite smooth, isn't it, you know? So uh, let's go in and have a look on the 100 ticks. Okay, so from wave four here, we've been looking at one and two, and then five waves up for wave three here, and then four. And then I have to say, it does get a bit messy uh, in here. So I wasn't quite sure. So I just want to talk about this a little bit. <clears throat> There's a little bit, uh, I could look, basically I could have wave five top on this one, or we could have uh, one and two here, and three, four, and five to finish off here. Okay, so I'm a little bit unsure about that. But uh, this move through here is in three waves so far. So we could look at this one as five waves up. Uh, maybe three, but it looks like five. But so that means that I'm not going to take that as the high, um, even though it's the high, because you could look at this as one, two, three, four, five, and we may, may have to as well in that case and then an A and a B and a C here. But what it does do, whichever way I look at it, we can go short below this level here. <clears throat> so I think that we'll just pop that in and uh, let's see. So we may end up just coming up here in five waves and then and then going down at that point. We may end up having this as, as wave one here and two here, and then we'll look for five waves up uh, up here for this, four, three, four, and five to come into play here. So we just need to be a little bit cautious, but this would cover us at, the, at that point. Let's just see how the cookie crumbles at this point, because that if we take it here and that is three waves, then we should be going up at that point. But just in case that's five waves here and an ABC or down for one, back for two, down for one, back for two, down for one, back for two and dropping in that point. So we'll see how it uh, see how it plays out. Um, yeah, if we don't get it here, well then we'll look for it um, over on this side here as well. So that's that. That's the five waves we've been looking to the upside. A uh, little bit dubious at the end here. Not not a nice. It's a bit tricky to read all of that in there. I have to say. Uh, so yeah, let's just see how that goes. It doesn't matter either way. So just uh, put that. Um, sell on stop order in there or whatever your platform takes and um, let's move on so that's that and square here so with square we're looking down at well an a wave a b wave i suppose we still could have it now i want to have it as as an a and a b and a c wave here and we're looking for wave one and two and then we're in the third wave we haven't finished the third wave yet you can see here that we've got one and two and three and four here it does come back up and overlap this a little bit um but i think there's an error on the daily chart in here on this but anyway um one and two and three and four and five so we're nearly finished this third wave and then we'll get a fourth wave and then the fifth wave down so yeah kind of um probably we bottom probably bottom out with the commodities uh with gold and copper and a few of those things that's interesting um not that there's any relationship there i don't think but um let's go into the intraday So from the B wave top here, we're looking at one and two here, and one and two and three and four and five. I should just put those in there a bit. It's not gonna be a big deal. So we're looking for five waves down from wave two down to wave three, so one and two and three, and we've got back for four here. Uh, went short, probably a bit 
a bit late, but um, at least it was sort of confirmed a bit. So what I'm thinking, there will be support at the old low here. We're in minor group two here, 65, 72 and 80. So we can expect the market to bounce around a bit. But we should expect this green wave five, blue wave three here, minute wave three, um, to break that low here. Now, it may not do it by a lot. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, at worst here, we could probably come up to here and then down into this space. And then we'll be going back up at that point. Back up to this way for here. So quite a, quite a, I don't know, bit, certainly a, a bend in the road, so to speak. <coughs> But for this trade here, I think we should be targeting down here somewhere, at least into 170, 168, 165, 168, 165. And I'm not that confident in this count. I need to do work on this count, by the way. Um, so I'm not sure about that count. So you would need to go over that a little bit. So we'll probably see some sort of little um, rally here because it, it, it looks like I, I just couldn't imagine that we're, you know, we haven't broken that low there yet. We've got an impulse wave here. So, um, but that looks a little bit impulsive. So we could get something like this here, you know, may come back to that point and then down again. I'm not sure because I haven't really pulled all this apart. Just haven't had time this morning. But um, I think what we need to do first off is just get this to break even here. It can go below below the entry, um, just depends if you're paying brokerage and all those sort of things, but definitely get it to break even. Uh, you could even probably um, take some money off the table here. That would be another little way to ease the burden a bit. So I'll just pop that in there just for the time being. I'll probably move it later. And then what we need to do is we need to take profit down here somewhere with all of that. So that's that and PayPal's probably the same by the way and um, Meta Platforms here, just the daily chart. So here we need to be a little bit careful um, because there probably is five waves in this thing here, it just doesn't look like it at, at visual so I just need to be a bit careful. Um, so I need to be careful in, in the point that Yes, I am. Um, I'm expecting it to to come down into this space, and that's okay. Um, but at the same time, I think that we need to be a little bit mindful of that. We've got this is five waves here, so an A wave to here, an A B C for the B wave, and down for the C wave here, and finished at this point. Now we could be we could uh, we could be on this low here, right? So so we just need to be also a little bit careful here as well. So it's possible to count this up as five waves here. Um, so that means that we would need to be careful of, of an A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave coming into this space, the 50, 60% mark, and then, um, and then move off from that point. So we've got two, two things here. So they're conflicting, so we'll need to be a little bit careful, but it does mean that we can go long above this B wave high, wherever that comes in to, may even be a bit higher up here. So I will be working both trades. We'll be looking at both of them because we don't want to be caught out, you know. It's, um, opinions are good, but they're opinions, you know. Um, so we need to look at all the possibilities and, and eliminate them one by one so it does look a little bit impulsive up there let's just go in and have a little look at that so yeah so from this a wave down here i'm going to 
I'll count it as one and two here. One, two, three, four, five for the third wave. A nice third wave, big and long. Typical fourth wave and then up for the fifth wave. Now, because the extension's in wave three here, then that means wave one and wave five here. I haven't got five there, but that's the fifth wave from four going up to five here. That would be about right because um, yeah the extensions in wave three so wave one and wave five are roughly the same obviously they're not the same <clears throat> but they're not you know it's not way out of whack it's just sort of this one's twice as much but um, yeah so um, I can see that it looks it appears that we've got a little five waves down here at the moment so I was thinking that we'll get a little rally it's already moved which is good so probably one two three four five probably see that as an A wave, a B wave, and one, two, three, four, five as well. It looks impulsive there. So we'll probably get something like this, but um, it does mean that we can also look to short it below here as well. <clears throat> now, my fear was that we may just get from the top here, we may just get some sort of, you know, I'll look at it closely later, but something like that and move up. Um, obviously it doesn't matter when we come down to this point we're going to get support here anyway um, but otherwise we'll be uh, coming down here further at that point that's always been been the, the gist of things it's just that you know it just looks like this here I've got it as an A wave here and a B wave here and a C wave here but you know I'm really forcing that and I don't particularly like that so we'll just wait and see how this pulls back. If you want to go short, you know, you can. Um, should be okay. Um, if you do go short here, just leave the stop above that high there. That should be safe for a little while. And we'll, we'll see how far we get down here. And we'll try to work it. it, it look, it's not, um, you know, there's no really good trends around at the moment. So we have to, um, you know, we have to sort of uh, pick up pennies off the ground, so to speak, you know. So let's just see how that plays out. At least we're mindful of both directions at this point. So let's, yeah, anyway, we'll just see. That's where that is. And uh, Tesla. So with Tesla here, we're getting quite close to the, the, um, the, the end here for this. I could probably just drag this down a bit further with all of this, but um, what we want to do here is, yes, it's possible that we can just buy on the low here that's that's okay but I want to get evidence of a change in trend as well so even when it comes down and finishes off here I want to I want to be able to you know work the upside here I can we can buy at the bottom but it's not really a good uh you know um habit to get into uh unless you're just having fun you know and you've got a very small position in there and you know you've, it's 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 just interesting at that point um but we we you know because uh it could get out of hand and we come down here further do you know what i mean so we we, we need something um just to buy on the low you can get away with it you know most of the time once your skill set's good enough but um <clears throat> You know, and a small loss is a good loss, but um, you got to get that loss back, you know. Um, so it's just adding to the work. So better to be a little bit safer, I think, anyway. But I'm just a scaredy cat when it comes to this sort of stuff. So um, we're going to wait for five waves to come up here. Some some sort of impulse wave we can get get hold of. If we can get a position, and you know, one or two positions under the 1,000, then we're going to try to build on top of that. And then we can also build in through here if that's going to be the case. Because that's where we should be going. We should be taking that high out at that point. But we just need to be careful because I could be totally wrong when the market runs away on us. Do you know what I mean? It, it may not be the case. I mean, who knows? You know, so we just got to go step by step and and uh, gather some information. So that said, let's just go to the tick chart here and um, let's just go back a little bit further, shall we, on this one? So we've got that B wave top up here. Okay. And then we were looking for one and two and three and four and then going down for wave five so we're on track we need we should be making a low below here doesn't doesn't have to be just need we just need five waves in here but as it stands so far we've had quite a long wave one 
um, compared to what I can see for wave three. So I think wave five is going to be quite short. So wave five should finish off, you know, close into group one of the 900 area over here for this. But even once we get that in, like I mentioned, uh, it can come down here. We, we want to be, it depends where it lands. You know, we may use group one, the top of group one to build our first trade in and add on the 50, you know. Um, it's going to be, you know, stormy waters going into number eight here and the 1000. So we don't want to bank up too close to this point. We want to get our positions in a little bit earlier, you know. So, uh, yeah, we'll just see where it all finishes off and we'll, we'll work the low in, in that space. But that said, um, looking at this here as wave one here and two here, and then one and two and one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, I could put the fourth wave there, couldn't I? Probably have to, I think. This is another way I can look at it. Am I, am I missing anything? I don't think so. So that can go there. That can go there. It's a bit short. Let me just reassess this. Unless that's all wave one. I mean, that's the other point here too, isn't it? But we'd expect a bounce off here. I think we need to take it as the third wave. So that means that... Look, we'll take it as the third wave at this point. Um, this down to here, that would leave the 38.2% retracement level there. So we can just pop that in there for the time being. Then remove that. This is the wave four of one lesser degree here. We should get a bounce off five being the second strongest number. Um, Yeah, I should see something like that. I mean, this is the way four of one lesser degree, so it doesn't have to come all the way up here. I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be important here. So we'll just see how that plays out. Um, and then wave five really needs to be shorter than this wave three here. So probably. I'll take it to the wave four of one lesser degree. That will bring us down to this point. I'm taking I'm taking 61.8% of the length of um, wave three to bring us into wave four because wave three can't be the shortest. So out of the trends, one, two, three, four, five, wave three can't be the shortest. But this, I need to be careful about this because all of this here could just be wave one coming down to here, do you know? And then we're just coming back copy this coming back for wave two up here somewhere so that's possible so anyway we'll just see we'll keep working it it'll become apparent that's why we'll just ease into it over here and look at all the possibilities and you know just keep working it Alrighty, that's it for tesla and <clears throat> over to Microsoft. So we're looking at Microsoft in two ways. We're still looking at it as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave coming into this play here. We're also looking at it uh, in terms of uh, this pattern here where we've got wave one here and ABC for wave two and then up for one and back for two here. So that brings us back into the 330 area here. So if we're going to go long on this, then we'll look for from wave one to wave two here, there'll be an A and a B and a C. So we'll go long on the B wave here. We may be able to get more information and go longer earlier, but we have to be mindful of this other count uh, here as well. So really in terms of, um, you know, a classic trading levels pattern at this point, if, if this here is the 300 here, then this here is the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. So if this is the 300 here, we've got the arrival, the reaction and the first high above the level. So we could be in for this. We haven't, the market hasn't tested the 300 yet, hasn't done all this testing here. So that's um, something that we need to be a little bit mindful of. 
So we can have this as the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, an A and a B, and then, you know, coming back down to the wave 4 of one lesser degree. I've also got this little wave 4 here as well. It's just that I've been working on another count. I think I may have shared it with you before, but this is just on the weekly chart here this would have it so if we we just to be a little bit careful if we broke into a new high here for this for example and it wouldn't be a long a long um, trend here because wave one here is really quite short because the extension's in wave three here so we could end up having wave three up here and then coming back for wave four as well so yeah just a couple of little things in 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 all of this that we need to work through but let's just go to the tick chart and see where we are so okay so that's our wave three up here or wave one and then we've looked at this here as um wxy So I'm just seeing if I could count it in any other way. And then we've just been looking at this to the upside uh, here, which can count as corrective or, or impulsive. I've counted it so far as one and two and uh, one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, fourth wave here, then one and two and three and four here, and then going up for five here. Now it does look like it wants to push up higher here on, off that. And maybe I don't have this right here but one and two and three and four a bit messy and five here or should wave four go over to this point here as an a wave a b wave and a c wave over to this point so i'm not that sure it does look like it wants to go up but um so i'll just give it another session to see what we're up against here i mean uh yeah so um like i mentioned if um if this is all of wave one up here and we're coming back for wave two, then we're going to have some sort of A wave, B wave and C wave within all of this. So that means that uh, we can go long above that B wave if that plays out. <clears throat> but otherwise, uh, yeah, otherwise we'll either have this A, B, C or we'll be coming down deeper into, into this situation down here. as wave four so a little bit there's a bit going on here for this so we'll just um just continue to uh work it i mean it's got quite nice form in here as one two three four five so i'm wondering if it's even part of a third wave and we're just going higher at that point but we're looking at the s p doing the same thing as well so we one of the counts on the s p is we've also been looking for wave one up there and, and wave two to come back so with the s p we're up into this little area here as well so i think let's just give it a little session or two it's pointless going long um because the risk reward is not there and also going short as well you could go short here um yeah i mean you could go short here but you just have to use the um the 340 here so if the market came down to the 340 it would bounce back up go through it come back and test it and then drop so you've got this low to work and this low for the entry so that's what you have to wait for i mean you could say well pete why don't i sell it here well then because this can be an a wave a b wave and a c wave here and then just go straight back up from that point and you don't tr don't don't never short the breakout here because you can get trapped it can just come down and then go back up and find support and go off again and it does that 30 percent of the time or something i don't know i mean it doesn't matter it does it you know it doesn't matter how many times so this is why we need to work that low and that low and yes it's not the best price but <clears throat> it's safe and sometimes this um this retest uh pops back above the level there and that looks like this here so but the point here is that you just keep focusing on that it's all about that low and the second low and then if it goes above there then you can still work that low and that low but what i prefer to do is that if it goes above here then this becomes a little sort of family within itself it's part of the greater family but it's part it's, it's got its own little uh family in there of trends and corrections so 
So then it's better off um, using this one over here. So this little simple pattern here inside of this will be this bigger fractal here. The same thing again. So it will come down, bounce off it, go through, come down and check it, and then do the thing again and then drop from it. So then using that there. So it's just refining the situation, you know, and it takes time to, I mean, you know, I can show you things like this, but everything in trading, you need to prove to yourself, you know, what works for you. And yeah, you know. So uh, let's just see how that top goes there. Um, and also the banks, no real change in the banks. We're looking for, well, this is... Um, uh, Morgan's here, um, same with the Bank of uh, America, same, same, same sort of pattern. The other banks will be the same but different. So we're looking for, it's like the Australian banks, we're actually looking for, um, if I can just, uh, where's the tools for this? Just grab that. So we're looking at this here as wave one up here, coming back for wave two here, and then moving up higher, three, four, five. So I'll just, I'll put it on primary degree. I don't think it is though, but um, we can drop it. Um, yeah, probably is. I'll put that there. So I'll just, <laughs> big and clumsy. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I'm looking for this as an ABC for wave two. Um, we've got five waves up here. Uh, if I've made a mistake here, then we're still in wave four here, but that will become apparent after, a, a little bit later on because what will happen here, if, it, if, if all of this, if this is a wave four coming back into here, it's going to be more complicated because as a wave two here, it should be really simple. It should be five waves for the A wave, three for the B and five for the C. If I start seeing, you know, complicated corrections within all of this, well then, Oh no, it's wave four and we won't be pulling back that far, but um, banks around the world are pretty much doing the same thing. So <clears throat> the Australian market, uh, Australian bank, uh, uh, CBA, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, it's already finished its A wave down here and it's starting its little B wave rally uh, here. So then we're looking for it to drop here. So the, the banks around the world are all doing it. Some are leading and some are following. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.